Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new lesson for our school, Qatar Technical School. And this is an English lesson for grade 10 using the Technical English Book 1. The title of today's lesson is Locations 2. Before we start the lesson, let's have a look at the objectives. The first objective is recognizing tools through reading a description. The description will be for the tools. The other objective is recognizing devices through also reading a description. To be able to follow this lesson, please open the workbook pages 14 and 15. Okay, now let's start by looking at this exercise. Here we have the names of some tools, hammer, pair of pliers, pair of scissors, saw, screwdriver, and spanner. Here we have descriptions for these tools. The first part of the description is a description of the tool itself, and then the second part is the description of the use of the, uh, the tool. Let's look at number one as an example. It has a handle, a shaft, and a head. So this is the description of the tool. Then we say it turns screws. So this is what we use it for. And this is screw, uh, so, sorry, is it, this tool is a screwdriver. So it is a screw driver. Let's do also number two together. It has a shaft and a head. It, it drives in nails. It is a, of course, it's a hammer. So you have to do number three, four, five, and six. Okay, let's read them together before I leave you or give you time to answer them. It has two handles and two blades. It cuts paper. Number four, it has a shaft and jaws, but no blades. It tightens nuts. Number five, it has two handles, jaws and blades. It cuts wire. Number six, it has a handle and a blade. It cuts wood. Pause the video for about two minutes to answer the questions and then come back to check the answers. Okay, now let's check the answers together. Number three, what is the answer? Very good. Pair of scissors. Pair of scissors. Number four. Excellent. Spanner. Spanner. Five. Pair of pliers. Pair of pliers. And finally, number six. So. So. Very good. Now let's move to the next exercise. In this exercise number three, we need to use the words in the box to complete the dialogues. So here we have a dialogue, a question and answer, question and answer and so on. And we need to complete either the question or the answer with the words in the box. The words in the box are do, does, don't, doesn't, have and has. Let's read dialogue number one first. It's between A and B. A. Space Carlos need a spanner. B. No, he. Space. A again. Space, he need a pair of pliers. B. Yes, he. Four. Sorry, next. A. Does he. Space, a so. B. Yes, he. Two. Okay, let's do dialogue number one together. So, what do we need to start the question here? Number one. Very good. We need the word does. Does Carlos need a spanner? No, he doesn't. Next. Also does. Does he need a pair of pliers? Yes, he. Does, excellent. Does he, so, 
Does he have a soul? Yes, he has to. Excellent. Now let's read number two. A. Space, you have a hammer. No, I. Space. Space, you need a hammer. B. Yes, I. Space. I don't. Space one. Go and ask Pedro. He one in his toolbox. Okay, pause the video for one minute. Write the answers and then check with me. Okay, now let's check the answers. The first is space. Do. Do you. Do you have a hammer? No, I don't. Of course. Do you need a hammer? Yes, I do. I don't have one. Go and ask Pedro. He has one in his toolbox. Very good. Okay, so now in this exercise, it's on page uh, 15. Here we have descriptions of some devices. Okay. For number, for example, number one, this makes electricity. What makes electricity? Generator. Generator. Let's do number two also as an example. This shows north. Which device shows north? It's campus. Very good. Now let's read them. Three to ten. This stores electricity. This device stores electricity. Number four, an AC space changes AC to DC. AC means alternative color, uh, current, alternative current, tayar al mutaraddid, and DC direct current, tayar thabit. Number five, this receives radio signals. We need to think of the device that receives radio signals. Number six, a solar panel changes sunlight into what? Number seven, you can measure what in Fahrenheit or Celsius? Number eight, you turn this round with your hand, something you turn with your hand. It's in the dynamo solar radio. Number nine, this measures temperature. And number 10, this turns and makes electricity. Okay, so take like three minutes, try to think of the answers for this exercise, and then come back to check the answers with me. Okay, uh, welcome back, now let's start number three by answering number three number three what stores electricity it's a battery number four adapter five antenna six electricity Seven, temperature, eight, handle, nine, thermometer, and finally, ten is the dynamo. So, so far we have achieved both objective, objectives of today's lesson, we recognized tools and devices through reading descriptions. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to go to the teams, to answer the questions, the, the homework. Thank you. Goodbye.